Craig here with another video dealing with cryptocurrencies. A little wake-up call here. I think hope everybody ought to really pay attention to this. Everybody thinks these things are wonderful. We're going to be referring mostly to Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the one everybody says they're going to make a lot of money on. And that's the main one, the one everybody's heard of at least. But there are a lot of other cryptocurrencies there. If you don't know, cryptocurrency is basically just an imaginary bits and byte in a computer that using is money. Not too much different than the way you use a credit card when you're paying for something online today. It's not a whole lot different than that. It's a digital form of money. It doesn't actually have a, an actual coin or piece of paper associated with it. So, but I want to give a wake-up call here about these things. So many people say, oh, I'm going to make money. It's safe. It's private. Well, let's throw a, a spear at all of those right now. First of all, you hear in the news all the time about how uh, bitcoins have been hacked, even from governments. Bitcoins have been hacked. Get over it. They, not, everything on the in, on, on computer is hackable. If somebody puts enough time into it, these people can hack anything. That's number one. Number two, privacy. Uh, do you honestly think the internet is private? Anything you do on the internet and online can be traced and tracked if somebody puts the effort into it. So no, I think you're naive to believe it's privacy. Even if it's encrypted somehow, there's always people that can break encryptions. You think the NSA can't break encryptions? And here's one other biggie that most of you aren't even thinking about. Bitcoin, for instance. Most of the Bitcoins in existence are owned by nobody knows. It's a big mystery. It's even a big mystery who created the whole Bitcoin thing, right? Well, let's say if I was in control of things, let's say I am the, the god that made these things or other currencies all around the world, fiat currencies. It's only valuable because we believe it is. If I was the one who created these things and controlled them for the last 300 to 500 years, do you think I'm going to sit back and let some digital geek computer whiz come along and create something that I couldn't control? There's way too much power in this to allow that to happen. You catch my point here? Now, on the other hand, if I was those people who did create these things and I wanted to convert to a digital currency of cashless society, which are even more controllable and controlled, I might create something like Bitcoin, produce it, Get everybody to believe it's private and safe and not under the control of some government. But yet I'm pulling the strings from behind the scenes and I'm laughing all the way to the bank. No, check that. I'm laughing because I am still the bank. So I think you're being extremely naive to think that people who make these things are letting, just letting this thing happen with cryptocurrencies. Look at Venezuela. They jumped in the game, created their own cryptocurrencies. No. All these cryptocurrencies, at least the one, whoever survives in the end, is a manufacturer of somebody that already does these. They're tricking you into voluntarily going into a all-digital cryptocurrency society. Wake-up call.